Howdy strangers and welcome back to Born Into Fear. Now, I'm pretty sure there's only six houses left. Um, two of which I skipped through that were on like the main strip of the, the road. And then I had to go on the other side. There's It's like a cross. So it's like a straight road and then there's two side uh, streets. Well, a street that goes through the, the main street. So, and actually got to look. Yeah, so 114, 113, I kind of skipped over. So the check mark, the check mark must mean that I found everything in those houses. So maybe I should revisit these ones. Or maybe the check mark means I got stars there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think. Because one... Oh, maybe those are the houses that had the... Uh... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Where am I going? Oh, hi. So I have to go down to those houses. Screw you. Okay, so we'll do this house first. <laughs> Save. Another Aegis dog, are you? What's your problem? I'm dead. Take a guess. Okay, fair point. How's that uh, going for you? How do you think? The worst part about being dead is I can't turn on my record player. How am I supposed to relax without some music while I read? I might not, uh, I might not be able to help with the, uh, the being dead thing, but I could turn on a uh, record player for you. <laughs> Would you? I thought I was going to go crazy sitting here doing nothing and not even listening to some music. If you could turn uh, my record player on and enjoy some tunes with me, I might have some peace after all. Okay. <laughs> nice. Just dancing with the ghost. No big deal. Okay. I just leave it on. Ah, you're not so bad for an Aegis dog. And then I can turn it back on. I like that song. I didn't see what that was, but Bert Owens was wide awake when we reached the door to his home. He begged for his life, pleaded for more time to spend with his family. Still, we committed ourselves to ages for a reason. One old man pa uh, past his prime wasn't enough to stop what we had planned tonight. I know I'll hear his screams in my dreams tonight, and looking at the faces of my fellow agents, I know they will too. I heard something. Origami. Oh, okay, so now I can check, actually. Okay, so the checks must be where the stars were. That's what it means. Save again. You need to go away. You need to leave. Why are you going towards the house I need to go to? Fuck it. Shit. Ah! One, two. Get out of here. Fuck. God damn it. Being a 
I want you to think about what you did on your final pieces and clean the mess you made off the walls. Okay. Unfortunately, the targets within this home were faced with a family emergency and have been out of town for over a week. While this may have lessened the amount of targets tonight, thus making the uh, the jobs of our agents easier, it does mean that our odds of success overall in the goal of this operation have been diminished. We can only hope no more complications arise. Here we go. What can she be like your sister? She wasn't such a pain in the ass growing up. <laughs> okay. Fuck you, mom. Your lives are in danger. Get out of town while you still can. I think that's a little too late for that. Give me that. Okay. God fucking damn it! <laughs> oh! Okay, good. I just want to make sure. Yeah, the reason why my first uh, playthrough of this uh, was messed up was because you go to options, they have choices for the FPS, and it was just set to off. It wasn't even on 30, it was just off. So, that's why it looked like dog water. It's important to take responsibility for your actions. Yeah, yeah, whatever. That said, if this happens again, I won't be so lenient. All right. Let me get the map up here. I went I went down there. I think I Oh, Jesus. Is this where I needed to go? Yes. <sighs> That's never gonna... I'm never gonna get used to that. Clean the walls, collect and throw away beer bottles. I don't even know what's on the walls. It looks like shit. Oh, origami. Looks like somebody just wiped their ass on the wall. I already had cleaner. I think it's the trash can down here. Yep. No? Both targets were dead asleep when we entered the house. Doubt we could have woken them up if we wanted to. Hell, Agent Mouse stumbled into one of the bedroom doors and the target inside didn't even mumble into sleep. Anyway, our job here is done. We're moving on to the next set of targets now. Here's hoping the rest of the night goes this smooth. 
Ah, here we go. <laughs> Chocolate ice cream. All right, just wine and ice cream. I don't know if I want to go in there because it sounds like whenever that thing is, is taking a shower. <laughs> Let me just save again. Just keep saving. Uh, three more bottles, four more messes. Oh, I think this is the last mess. Never mind. I lied. Bro, I'm failing biology and philosophy this semester. You think that chick from Brad's party would be down to tutor me? Chloe's something, I think it was. Anyway, if you get the chance, ask her for me, would you? I can't find my phone after our party last night. Also, try and see if she's single. <laughs> Probably she didn't pop up in any of those rooms. Okay. Screw you. Which way am I? Oh, I'm going this way. To that house. 111. So these ones are all different looking. Over here. What am I just doing? Wow, I'm just collecting food for the picnic. Targets were watching a movie in their living room when we entered the home. We were caught off guard by their quick reactions with uh, Target Beta nearly escaping the perimeter of the house. Fortunately, one of our agents was on standby and managed to intercept the target before he escaped. Meanwhile, Target Alpha struggled, but Agent Johnson maintained control of the situation, and soon both Alpha and Beta were drowned in the bathroom. Beta's phobia of water might have made it more difficult for lesser agents, but we had no trouble. Of course. I always leave the toilet seat up. Any origamis back here? Oh, well, alright. Three more. There we go, origami. I didn't even see her there. She seemed kind of sad. Oh, have you finished getting ready? Come on, let's go. I know the perfect spot for watching the sunset. Maybe they'll even have fireworks tonight. 
Okay. Two houses left. Of course, they're in the direction that that creepy doll is walking. I'm going to run for this house. Screw you. Hey. What the hell? Who are you? What are you doing in my home? Good work, Agent. You should be able to enter house 170. Shut up! I'm just looking for ways to uh, make up for what happened. You can't make up for what happened. They killed us all. Everyone in the neighborhood, even, even the pets, my poor dogs. I might not be able to fix it all, but I might be able to help you move on. Move on, huh? There might be something that I never got to do. Tell me and I'll do my best to make it happen. Okay, there's a woman who lives, or, well, lived, I guess, in House 105. Her name is uh, uh, Ava, and I'm absolutely in love with her. I even wrote her a uh, letter, but uh, I was too chicken shit to give it to her. If you could deliver this letter to her mailbox, it'd mean a lot to me. I'll see what I can do. 105, I think he, uh, he said. House 105, yeah. Where is that? Of course, that's on the other side. I read this already? Intel in this house failed to mention the presence of pets inside. Two dogs alerted the target, nearly allowing them to call the police. We had to de deviate from the intended execution reserved for the target in order to salvage the operation. Both animals were eliminated with gunfire during entry into the house. Man, that's fucked up. We were able to use their remains to disturb Mr. Cunningham enough to satisfy me before his death. What the fuck? I suggest that next time targets are thoroughly investigated and documented to allow the proper planning. Yo, that's messed up. Like, you can kill the people, but don't kill the dogs. Don't kill the pets. It's not okay. Stop it. Get some help. Ah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Oh. Is there an upstairs to this house? No. There isn't. Okay. Let me save again. And... Oh, she's good. She turned. I'm gonna go to... Oh, great. She saw me. I don't know if she's faster than me. We're about to find out. House 105 is over here. This one it? Yes. What am I doing with that again? Remember this house? Oh, mailbox. I didn't even need to come inside. Why do you have to be right there? There's, I think there's three of them all together. <laughs> One for each street. So I need to get back to 106, I think. Damn. <laughs> Really? <sighs> I 
I go 10 is negative 7, so negative 7 plus 15. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's a positive 8. 359 plus 69. Of course, it's 69. Getting out the calculator. Because I'm a cheater. No, oh, because I'm not good with simple math. Where's the cal- Oh, there you go. Alright. 351 plus 69. Four. It equals 420. Of course. That's 70. 70 minus... 70. 70. No. Minus 51. 19. 2.5 times 2. That's easy. It's... 5. 30 minus 64 is negative 34. Cool. Let's not get grounded again. Of course, they put me in the house with a creepy doll. Wait, what house am I in? Oh, wait, hold on. 103. I'm right here. I need to get here. Shit. Go away. This, honestly, this flashlight, this one seems the best one. Like, yeah, it doesn't get as wide of a view, uh, of flashes, but, like, this one doesn't ha go that far. And this one just sucks. We, we don't use that one. This one's, like, this one's alright. Okay. Um, now I'm on house 104. I gotta go to the one right over. Didn't see me. Oh, any origami in here? No? Okay. I think it's this house right here. Wait, why did I come back here? I don't think I had- to, I didn't even have to come back here. I already finished- oh yeah I did. I gotta go talk to the- No, get out of there. He was in this house, wasn't he? Or was he in the house across the street? Fuck, come on. Alright.
Did I complete his mission? I don't think I did. I don't remember what house he was in. It was a 104? No, it was a 104. I thought it was 106. What is this one? Yeah, whatever. Screw you. Did I just phase into the sink? I did. I am one with the sink. thought this was the house but I think houses were the stars where you couldn't get uh... okay so maybe it was 104 no that doesn't sound right I'm just gonna go and finish these last two houses Was I already in this one? Wait, maybe it was this one. It was. It will probably never reach here, but it's still enough for me. Sweet. These don't have check marks. I'll have to go back and check that out. Go, 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 go. Come to finish the job, have you? Not not all agents, uh, agents are out to get you. No, not all of them, but even one is too many for my liking. What have you come here for, then? I'm trying to ease the suffering done in this neighborhood. And doing a shit job of it, huh? Sigh. <laughs> Maybe I'm being too harsh on you. You do look like you're trying to do some good here. If you really do mean it, I might have something I'd like done. Anything. My cousin was in an accident not too long ago, and my family's asking for some money to be sent to help out. Since I can't spend money anymore, can you find and gather up all the cash around the house? You'll need to put it in the box on the table, and then leave it in the mailbox after. Help lessen the pain in the world. Help my family. On it. Really? Don't. You locked me in here? Roberto, your dad called a few minutes ago asking if you could send more money this month. Manuel was uh, struck by a moped crossing the road and had to be rushed to the hospital. His bills were pretty expensive and the family is hoping uh, we'll help them cover it. Sorry I didn't wait until you got home to tell you, but those uh, sleeping pills are finally hitting me. Go away. Origami. Oh, and some money. Can you stop? Stop. That's creepy. Any in the toilet? No. There's nothing ever in the toilet. Of course, you just, you had to be right there. <sighs> Is 
Seriously? Go away. Oh, there was check marks on places like that I needed to help like the spirits too. So these didn't have anything, I don't think. So after this house I can go to the big one where Sally is. Ooh, that's going to be great. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Once this motherfucker leaves, go away. Keep going. Oh, of course. They're coming back. Awesome. Screw you. I hope it'll lessen the blow. Oh, cool. I got the uh, medium achievement. I must have gotten all the ghosts in. Um, is that you thanking me? Can you get rid of her? So I'm going the right way. I am. Save here. Really not looking forward to going through the the Sally house. Yeah, that's right. You go back to your own street. I'm gonna sneak through the back here. Nice. That was a smart idea. Smart move. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for in here. Um, hi, are you Sally? Oh good, there's a save. Not going down there. Hi. That's so creepy. God damn it. I see you there. Do you like all live in this house?
Yeah, you're like... All of them are in here. Hi. Nice. Yeah, were you just taking a dump? Jay? Oh, Jay, is that you? Who are you? Jay, it's me, your mother. It's been so long. How have you been doing, honey? I've been... I've been looking for you, Mom. Where where were you? Did Aegis take you? They kidnapped me after work one day, said they needed me for some greater purpose than my life. I've been held in this house for years. There was a caretaker to look after me, and everything I ever needed was given to me, but they never let me meet you or talk to you. How did you find me? A year ago, I found a letter in my mailbox with no address or name on it. The letter told me to join Aegis and earn their trust. Eventually, something called the Hollow Heights experiment would take place, and I should uh, volunteer if I wanted to see you again. So you worked with these monsters. I don't know how you managed it. I still don't understand. Why you? And why would you... Uh, why hold you captive? None of the uh, others were held here against their will. I think I remember them saying something about how my prior experience with buffers might after, uh, alter the experiment's results. But when they noticed I was listening, they stopped talking. They wanted me to connect with the other people in the neighborhood and get close to them. I can't believe I found you. Did Aegis... Did they kill you? Yes, but I wasn't the only one. Everyone in the neighborhood, every family, and even the kids, they killed them all, Jay. I was the last one. So messed up. I know about the others. I helped some of them move on. Oh, I knew you were a good man. I'm so proud of you. What about the creature? The buffer that was uh, created from us? Aegis wants me to destroy it. They've gathered their data, and now they want the evidence gone. Should it really be destroyed? It didn't ask to be born into this world, especially not from our pain. There might be another way. Aegis has hidden a controller to suppress buffers inside the house. With all of the other spirits' help, I can reveal it to you. With it, you can find another way out of here. There's just one more spirit that needs your help, Jay. What? Who? Me, honey. I'm ready to move on. I just need one thing from you, that's all. Tell me you love me. I... I love you, Mom. I love you, too. God damn. Should I went in the basement first? Let me go check the basement first. I'm checking the basement. Oh wait, this is just going to the underground. Oh, this is the other end. The button ordered to the main room is blue, yellow, green, pink, red. Blue, yellow, green, pink, red. I'm, I'm going to take a picture of that because I have really crappy memory. Cool. Cool. I probably had to come down here first anyways. I think I needed that code. Overall, this is a, a, a pretty good game. The jump scares definitely get me. You must be Sally. Hold on. What the hell is that? I wonder if I got all the uh, origamis. Okay. Uh, Let's 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Sally, I found you. Why didn't you have your other versions of yourself free you? I strolled right in after getting those gold stars. So I constructed a barrier around the gate to slow them down. I want you to bear witness to Avis's actions. Ow. But why? Yeah, they're pretty fucked up. Or at least leaving open to other options. My captors are nothing but cowards and murderers. If you destroy me, they'll face the consequences for what they've done here. Hold that. I got a, had a yawn there. Hold that thought. All right. Other options. What option do I have to, are uh, but to destroy you? You're a monster. What have I done to be called a monster? I've never harmed anyone. Never killed anyone. The only actions I've taken against you were to protect myself. Still, you're a buffer. That alone is enough for me to destroy you. What are you trying to say? The experimenters were trying to force us to kill and harm. Their experiment was too successful for them in the end. And most everyone in the town of Lake Ridge and the prison where the experiments took place died. How do you even know about Lake Ridge? I thought you were created here in North Hollow Heights. I was created here. But every one of us is connected to ah. one another. If we want, we can share knowledge and experiences through that connection. I wasn't able to reach our shared memories until you revealed the controller. You must have weakened its power when you did. There were so many things I've forgotten. I can still only scratch the surface of our memories with the active. The controller? Is that, what, uh, is that what's keeping you locked here? My mission briefing didn't mention anything about a controller. The controller is dampening my connection to my powers. If you disable it, I can leave this place alive. I can even take you somewhere safe. No matter what you do here, it just won't let you go around putting it off for long. I can feel it faintly. They need to kill you after you fulfill your duty. Please, let me go. So there's only one way I walk away from this all alive, huh? Okay, I'll disable the controller. What you want doesn't matter. Aegis has asked me to destroy you, and I plan to. Nah, we're gonna, we're gonna be nice. Okay. Uh. It didn't give me a code. It just gave me numbers. In case of forgotten code, it may be found in the underground main computer. Possible entries or entrances: one hundred two, one hundred seven, one eleven, one seventeen. Wait, so the... Okay, so I have to go back down.
Yeah, this is that other note. <laughs> Maybe I have to go down the hall. Ah. I really hope there's not those things down here. That leads to 111. It's in here. Starting tape one, I've been assigned to the last ship's surveillance for North Hollow Heights before Aegis conducted their experiment. They don't trust me not to tell me exact date, but I'm sure it's only a few weeks or months away. Until then, I'm under orders in the area beneath the neighborhood to observe its inhabitants and record anything noteworthy. Oh, uh, more on that experiment in the next tape. Okay. What the f... Oh, is this all the... This is all the bodies of the... Wow, that's, uh... Wow. It's fucked up. on my webcam bitch. there's 107 <laughs> there's no button to get in that one no button the little balls sticking out of there all right let's go this way So one of them didn't want to be a part of this shit. Uh. Okay. Oh, wait. These Are these the lights? Yes. So... Blue, yellow, green. So blue's first, which is this one. Blue. Yellow. <sighs> Fuck off. Green. Pink. I'll do that after. Yeah, that's red. Pink. Red. Starting tape two. Okay, so the experiment. The head honchos at Aegis thought the results from Lake Ridge Prison and Bravewood Academy got to thinking. Now Lake Ridge and Bravewood were both done over years of poking and prodding. What if we tried to do what they did on one night? So, 
The people behind Aegis got together and created a neighborhood where a number of hand-picked families would live together and become closely knit. After enough years have passed, Aegis will slaughter the whole community in a single day so that they can begin their next phase of testing on the buffer created. Assuming one's created anyways. Still fucked up. Ah. I don't know if I needed to do that, but... Here we go. Here's the code. Sweet. Seeing if they're... Oh, uh, here we go. Junior researcher during the Lake Ridge prison experiments, but that doesn't excuse the blood on my hands. The torture, psychological and physical, done of those poor inmates haunts my dreams even today. We've inflicted the worst suffering any of us could imagine to the prisoners in an attempt to summon the buffer, and we succeeded. Unfortunately, we were too good at our job. A whole host of the creatures were unleashed on the prison. Not to mention the nearby town. Most of the town people were killed in the chaos, and a few who managed to survive found they no longer had a home to return to. Some powerful people covered it up, created Aegis to fix their mess, and the rest is history. Okay. God fucking damn it. Oh, this one. Yo, she's pretty thick, I ain't gonna lie. What that ass doing though? Dr. Fuckhead. The Lake Ridge prison experiments. It appears that he managed to access our data center and delete anything related to the experiment. He then destroyed any backups on site. The traitor must have had backup because all of the backups hidden were also destroyed simultaneously. He was executed, of course. This is going to set us back years in our plan, sir. I'll keep you updated on the situation. Commander Fuckhead. First chair. <laughs> the fuck branch. Ah, oh, so there's three different endings. I'm sure one of them was to actually keep uh, Sally locked up. So yeah, that was uh, Born Into Fear. I liked it. It was a good game. Ah. <sighs>
Yeah. Alright, so do me a favor, stay beautiful, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.